Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about our project titled Dynamic Traffic Light Controller System using Verilog and Microcontroller. So in traditional traffic control systems, it's very difficult to sense whether traffic is light or heavy on a particular road. So what ends up happening is green light is green signal on all the roads for a certain same amount of time. It's also very difficult to sense the emergency vehicles passing through any road. Of course, we could sort these problems out manually, but that adds a delay to the system. Now, if we take a look at the structure of our project, we'll see that we have 12 density tracking sensors. So what the density tracking sensors do is that they sense the amount of traffic on any particular road. Along that, we have four sound sensors on each road. They hear the sirens from the emergency vehicles passing through and make that particular road green at the time so that the emergency vehicle can pass. We also have the violation detector sensors, which can sense if a car goes over the traffic line when the uh, light is red and triggers the camera module so that it can take pictures of the car that is violating the traffic rule. And this is our state diagram. Our machine is a finite state machine and here we, as we can see we have 27 states in total and this diagram represents how they are interconnected with each other. The traffic light controller system has been implemented in two different methods for flexibility and performance comparison. First one is by using a FPGA board where Verilog coding has been done in Altera Quarta software. Second one is by using a microcontroller board. The coding part has been done in Arduino and the real-time simulation was performed in Proteus. In this part, you can see our generated vector waveform files for different case studies for our system. But don't worry, we won't bore you explaining them. Rather, we will demonstrate the system in real time. Now, let's perform a live demonstration of a traffic controller system. As you can see now, there is no traffic in any of the roads. Let's put a vehicle on road A. As you can see, road A gets green signal immediately. Suppose after some time, there is a heavy rush of vehicles on road C. So all the sensors of road C are now active. And as you can see now, road C gets green signal rather than road A. Now suppose an ambulance arrives at road B. So our sound sensor is able to detect that and the traffic signal of road B gets green signal. Now suppose a vehicle on road D gets impatient and tries to violate the traffic rule. Our sensor is able to sense that and which turns our camera module active. The camera module will click a picture of that particular vehicle and send it to the authority for further investigation. Finally, we believe that implementing our system in large cities can be resourceful. Thank you.